All right, you guys, we are on to the last of the declutters. So we're gonna do all my lip products today. I have been honestly dreading this category too because I have so many lip products and it's just out of hand. I don't even know what I have anymore. So this desperately needs to be done. I hope you're excited and I'm gonna try to do this as quickly as possible and not be too indecisive, but we'll see. So we're gonna start with lip balm type products that I have. I have a lot of these. All right, so here are most of my lip balms. So we'll start with the really obvious keeps. I'm definitely gonna keep this City Lips in clear. This is just like a lip gloss, lip serum. I mainly put this on before I do makeup and I have another one downstairs in my bathroom that I put on in the morning after I do my skincare. I love this stuff, I use it all the time. So that one I am going to keep. I'm gonna declutter this from Victoria's Secret. This is just one of their lip glosses. I don't even remember when I got this. This is kind of nostalgic for me. I used to always have tons and tons of Victoria's Secret lip gloss. Especially when I worked there, I, I mean, I had these all over <laughs> in my purse, everywhere. So I'm not, I'm gonna get rid of it, but kind of sad. I am also gonna get rid of this Lux Unfiltered lip balm. I hate the smell of this. That's the reason I'm getting rid of it. It's a nice lip balm, but actually, you know what? My mom might like this now that I think about it because I think it's supposed to smell, yeah, like roses. So mom, I'm gonna put that one aside for you because I know you like rose scented stuff. I'm gonna get rid of this Hello Kitty lip mask. This was another one of those Hello Kitty things from ColourPop. Smells pretty good, but I never use this. It just sits there. So that's gonna go. I am gonna keep the Laneige Glowy Lip Balm in the berry shade. So I have a few of these. This one is definitely my favorite. I also have pear and peach. I'm gonna smell these actually. Um, I mean, my favorite is the berry. So honestly, I think I'm probably just gonna keep that one. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep the berry one and declutter these two. I have a random Carmex up here. I don't really use that unless I'm gonna be outside or something, but I will keep it. I love the Patrick Ta lip mask. This one is so good. This one kind of smells like peppermint and vanilla at the same time, and it has that tiny bit of tingle to it too. I really like it, so I'm gonna keep that. I am gonna get rid of these e.l.f. Ride or Die lip balms. These are okay. They're kind of, actually, they're very thick. Um, they're almost like a paste, like they kind of look like toothpaste. They're not bad, but I never reach for them. So I'm gonna declutter. Okay, then I have this little Chanel what is this called? The Coco Rouge Balm. It's just a clear lip balm. Looks kind of gross. I don't know if it's, no, I think it's fine. It is just clear lip balm. My mom used to always get one of these for me. I think it was for my birthday. She would always get me a new one of these when I was younger. So it always kind of reminds me of that. It's kind of bougie. I like it. I also like the Tatcha Kisu lip mask. This one is more of like a gel consistency, but it really makes your lips look glossy, like extremely glossy. So I like that. I then have this Kopari lip glossy in the shade clear. I just don't need this. I mean, these are nice. I got this at TJ Maxx either TJ Maxx or Marshalls, I can't remember. These are really good. They have a bunch of different scents, I think, but I, I just don't use it, so I'm gonna get rid of it. And then I have two, actually, I think I have three of these. I think one of them is hiding, hiding in my drawer. Um, okay, I never reach for these either. I have the coconut one, the mint one, and then the original one. I think the coconut one is my favorite. 
Oh, the mint one smells really good too. I don't think the original had a smell. I'm gonna declutter the original. I feel like I don't need both of these. Come on, Blair, make a decision. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, I'm gonna keep, no. I'm gonna keep the mint one. No, I'm gonna keep both, okay. I'm gonna keep both. I mean, these lip lip glosses, you guys, they are out of control. I probably have the most lip glosses, I think, so this is gonna be quite the task. Okay, so I'm gonna pick my absolute favorites first. Absolute keep, always a favorite, Dior Lip Maximizer. This is my 001 shade. I have a few other shades, but this is still my all-time favorite lip gloss. I love everything about it. The formula, the feel, the look, I love it all. So that is not going anywhere. Also not going anywhere is my Persona Honey Gloss. I love the formula on these as well. This is more of like a bronzy color. It's so pretty. I'm gonna swatch some of these. I'm not gonna swatch everything, because if I do, will be here until next year. That one I love, I'm gonna keep it. All right, these Buxom glosses are gonna go, they are very old. This used to be my favorite lip gloss formula. I still like it, but it's not, I definitely use my Dior glosses way more than these. So I'm gonna get rid of that, get rid of that. This is Hot Toddy and Peach Daiquiri gonna get rid of those. Definite keep the Dior Lip Glow Oil in 001. I love this, the product itself, but I also just think this is the cutest little lip oil with the hot pink. I don't know. I know that's just crazy, but I just love looking at this. So cute. Not going anywhere. This I'm gonna get rid of because it is very old. It's it looks really gross. This is the Charlotte Tilbury. I think these are the Lip Luster glosses. This is not my favorite formula from Charlotte Tilbury. This is just Pillow Talk. This formula is a little bit sticky. This is really old too. So that I'm gonna go or I'm gonna declutter. Then I have the Patrick Ta lip gloss. I forget what this is called and superficial. I'm gonna keep this. Um, the smell on these, if you've tried these, let me know what you think these smell like. They smell like something to me, and I cannot figure out what it is. It smells kind of cinnamony, almost like Red Hots or something. I don't know. I like it, though, and this is really pretty. It's kind of a nude with a little bit of shimmer in it. So that one I'm going to keep. Then I have this Tower 28 gloss in Cashew. This is really old. It also smells kind of weird. I'm gonna declutter that. Um, let's see, then I have this L'Oreal, what were these called? The Glow Paradise Gloss in, I don't know, something in Feathery Floor. This I think I'm gonna keep because this color is really pretty. Actually, let me try to swatch this way. It's kind of a rosy pink. But these are really good from L'Oreal. I'm gonna keep that one. Then I have this Charlotte Tilbury Collagen Lip Bath. I have a few of these. This is the peachy plump one. Um, I never use this one anymore. I love the smell. These smell really minty. It's just like a light peach with some golden shimmer in it. I'm gonna declutter. I gotta be ruthless with these, you guys. Okay, then I have this Givenchy uh, Liquid Balm. So this is the 001 shade, the pink one. This is the one that kind of changes based on your pH. So it looks a little bit different on everybody. It's pretty pink. Um, but I like this. This is my only one of these, too. So I'm going to keep that one. Fenty, uh, let's see, Gloss Balm Heat and Fussy. I think I'm going to keep this one. I know a lot of people don't like the heat formula on these because they say they burn their lips. These, this really doesn't burn. 
my lips. It doesn't bother me. Okay, the Merit All Natural Lip Gloss, Lip Oil. This is okay. The color's okay. It's nothing that I'm like obsessed with though. I love the packaging but I never use it. So I'm going to get rid of it. And then Too Faced Lip Injection in Wifey for Lifey. I think I like this one. Yeah, I love this like rosy pink. Okay, you know what? No, I'm not. I just remembered. I don't, I hate the smell of this. I don't, let's see. It smells like something, like some type of medicine I had as a child. <laughs> And I can't figure out what it is, but I don't like it. And every time I open it, I remember I don't like it. So that one is going to go. Obvious Keep Dior in the beige color. It's beige with some shimmer in it. I love, love, love these, like I said. So that's going to stay. The cherry color one is also going to stay. Just like a light red. I love. Another Merit Gloss in Marrakech. Mm, I like this color a little bit better, but I'm just not, I don't know, I'm not a huge fan of it. I'm going to declutter this Neutrogena Hydra Boost Hydrating Lip Shine in Ballet Pink. This is okay. It's not, it's just not anything to get excited about. It's just a really light pink gloss, which I have a ton of already, and that one's not my favorite, so I'm going to declutter. I think I'm also going to declutter this Clinique gloss. I bought this really cheap for my Clinique video. This is in the shade Caramel Pop, but I just have so many things that look like this. That's not my favorite, so I'm not going to keep it. This one, the NARS Turkish Delight. I, for, I think this is the Afterglow Lip Shine. I am going to keep. It's just a very, very light pink. I like that formula from NARS, so I'm going to keep that. Um, okay, I'm also going to keep these two from Fawn Beauty. This is Katie Fawn's brand. She is here on YouTube. She has a channel. I love her and her glosses are really nice. They're like kind of like a lip oil, but also like a lip gloss. They're really pretty. I have two of them. She makes a ton of really pretty colors, but I really enjoy this. This is called a nude, which is there. And then the name came off of this one, but I think it was called a moment maybe, but I like these. So I'm going to keep those. Um, I'm going to declutter this Charlotte Tilbury Collagen Lip Bath. This was the original one in Refresh Rose. I've used this one quite a bit now. It's like a weird color. <laughs> so that one I am going to get rid of. Then I have the Pillow Talk Collagen Lip Bath. This one I'm going to keep. This is not super old. And I do like this formula. It's a, kind of a thicker gloss, but it kind of has that plumping feeling. I like that one, so I'm going to keep that. Then what do we have? NYX Creme Brulee. This is like a classic, you know? Okay, I'm going to keep Creme Brulee. <clears throat> then I have the Balmy Gloss Tinted Lip Oil from Ilia in Tahiti. This is pretty, but I never use it. I never use that. Mm, okay, I'm going to say keep that one for now. I'm probably going to end up having to go back through these. And this last one is the Bobbi Brown Oil Infused Gloss in Free Spirit. That one looks very close to the Ilia one. I'm going to declutter that one. Okay, this is going to be tough, you guys. Definite keep is the NARS gloss in Chelsea Girls. This is probably one of my favorite glosses ever. This is the older formula before they came out with the new, I think they're called Afterglow lip glosses or something. This is the older one, but I love this color. So that is a keep. Definitely going to get rid of this e.l.f. Lip, glossy lip stain. 
in Pinkies Up. Okay, this I did not like at all. It looks okay when you first apply it, but it made my lips look very dry and dehydrated. I did not like how it dried down on my lips at all. So that one I'm gonna declutter. Also gonna declutter this Sephora collection, Outrageous Intense Plumping Gloss in 02. I bought this one time, just compare it to like the Dior plumping glosses. They don't even, they don't smell the same, they don't look the same, they don't feel the same. I like the Dior ones way better. So that one's gonna go. I'm also gonna get rid of this L'Oreal Infallible Pro Gloss in Nude Twinkle. This is okay, I just have so many that look identical to this. And this is not my favorite formula. I gotta get rid of some. That one is gonna go. Then I have this Kosas Lip Oil Wet Gloss in Unzipped. I'm gonna keep this one. This is a really light, like milky nude, kind of a beigey nude. It's a little different, so I'm gonna keep that. Oh Lord, this is Pumpkin Spice Latte from Buxom. You know, this say, this smells like pumpkin. It really doesn't. I'm gonna get rid of it. I think I'm also gonna get rid of the Fenty Gloss Balm Heat in the red color, just because it's look-wise identical to this Dior one, and I like this one so much more. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty. I love the, that color, but I get the same look with that Dior one, and I like that better. Then this was the Morphe Madison Beer Lip Gloss in Mercury. I feel like I don't like this. Well, no, it's like a pretty lighter nude. Ooh, maybe I do like that. Kind of more of a muted nude. I'm gonna start a maybe pile. I'm gonna put this one in the maybes. And then I have this baby Fenty Gloss Balm in Fenty Glow. I like this. I just feel like this is really old. It still smells okay. It looks okay. Okay, I'm gonna keep that one. And number one, empty. Okay, this next basket is, like everything is all mixed up, so I don't even know. I think this is gonna be a mix of everything. The Merit lipstick in the shade Baby. This is a definite keep. This is one of their newer lipsticks. And I love this color formula. It's a really thin, almost feels like a lip balm, but you get a good bit of pigment to it. So that one I definitely will keep. Definitely gonna keep all three of the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip Plumps I have. I really should not swatch all these because it's gonna take forever, but I have Primrose, Peachy Beige, White Peach, which is the lightest, but I love all three. Those are definite stays. Also definite stays, the Makeup by Mario Moisture Glow Lip Serums. I love these. I have Bare Glow, Bronze Glow, and Apricot Glow. I'm not gonna swatch them all, but like here's Apricot Glow. These are very similar to the Tarte ones. I love them both. The Makeup by Mario ones have a little bit of shimmer in them. The Tarte ones do not, but on the lips, they look pretty close. I love them all though. So those not going anywhere. We'll also keep my Dior Lip Glow Oil in the shade Rosewood. So you saw the 001 shade earlier. Also have Rosewood. That's a keep. I have this from L'Oreal. This is another one of the Glow Paradise glosses. This one I'm gonna get rid of. It's just kind of a light, cool-toned pink. It's not my favorite, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Ooh, this is a really good one. This is the Glow Paradise Balm in Nude Heaven. And this is a really, really beautiful color. It kind of reminds me of Pillow Talk from Charlotte Tilbury. I love that one. So that one is a keep. Also a keep is the Dior Lip Glow in the Rosewood shade. Can you tell I like Dior? This is just like the balm. So pretty. I love it. 
that one is staying. And then this is the Charlotte Tilbury. I forget what this is called, but it was like, I don't know if they even make these, like the skinny little lip balm looking things in Pillow Talk. This is really old. It's not my favorite formula, to be honest. It's kind of sticky. I'm gonna get rid of that one. Next, we have Summer Friday's Lip Balm. This should have been in with the lip balms, but like I said, these are all mixed up. This is the Vanilla Beige one, so it's the newer one that has a little bit of color to it. I also have the original that I love. I keep that one in my purse. These I really love from Summer Fridays. So that one is a keep. Also a keep is this Naturium Fido Glow Lip Balm in the shade Petal. These are, or I got this from Target, and it comes in a few different colors. It also comes in clear, but it has this little metal applicator that's always really cold. It feels really good. This is a good one to keep in your purse, so I'm going to keep that. Oh, Lord. Okay, next is this Rare Beauty Dewy Lip Balm in the shade Blessed. I'm going to get rid of this. This is like a really bright neon pink. I honestly don't know why I bought this in this color, but that's not really my thing. I'm going to get rid of that. Then I have the L'Oreal, uh, what is this called? Color Riche Plump and Shine. And this one is in the Coconut Plump shade. So they make a few of these that have like plumping properties to them. This is one of them. I really like this a lot. I love this formula from L'Oreal. So that one I will keep. I'm gonna get rid of this Bobbi Brown Extra Lip Tint. I think my mom gave me this because she got it in an order or something and she didn't like it. There's like nothing to it. You hardly get any color. Nothing special, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Also gonna get rid of this Glossier Generation G lip color because this formula I love the color of it but the formula is just not my favorite it's very dry I just don't love how it looks on the lips I think they've actually redone these now but it's just not a favorite so I'm gonna get rid of that then I have this Galactic Jello gloss balm I think this came in a set one time it's just a light pink balm I never use it. I do like the smell. It smells like sweet tarts, but I don't need it. So that one, I'm gonna declutter. Charlotte Tilbury, what is this? She has so many lip formulas. I can't remember all the names, but this is the one that's more of a kind of a lip balm, kind of a lip gloss. I'm gonna keep that one for now. I have this NYX Filler Instinct Balm in this like, I think this is called Boardwalk, maybe? No, Basos. I was way wrong. That color is really pretty. Ugh, I don't know about that one. I'm gonna put that in the maybes. Oh lord. And then we have another Kopari lip gloss in the shade Birthday Suit. So this is like that clear one we had earlier, but this one is a little bit tinted. They smell like coconut too. I think I'm going to keep that one. Then I have three of the Afterglow Balms from NARS. I have Laguna. I used to love these. I never wear them anymore. Laguna is just kind of like a light brown color. I don't, I love Laguna, but I don't love it in the lip product. So I'm going to get rid of that. Then I have a mini and a regular size of Orgasm. I used to wear this all the time. Yeah, I gotta keep Orgasm. I'll keep the full size and declutter the mini. Okay, this is the last of bin number two. Definite keep is Persona E-Balm in the shade Meditate. In fact, I kind of forgot I even had this, which is one of many reasons why this declutter needs to happen. It's just a really light nude. I like this a lot. So that one is a keep. Then I have four of these from Revlon, which 
I absolutely love. These are these super lustrous, I think they're called glass lip shine lipsticks. They have a really long name. My absolute favorite is this one. I hate how they package them because they have all this sticky stuff all over them, but this one in Nude Illuminator number 20. I've talked about this so many times, but I absolutely love this. Love the color formula. It's glossy and shiny. If you like that lip gloss kind of look, but you also like something like in a stick like this, but you don't want like a full on lipstick, these from Revlon, I really like. I have a few shades, also have Glaring Coral, which is there, it's also pretty. I have Rum Raisin, which is here. That one's more of like a mauve color. I like that one for the fall time. And then I also have Beaming Strawberry which is more of a pink. I don't love beaming strawberry, so I'm gonna get rid of that one. Um, I'm gonna keep rum raisin. I'm trying to decide about the coral one. I think I'm gonna keep the coral one too. I'm gonna keep that because I love that formula. Then I have two of these from L'Oreal, the Color Riche Shine lip, Lipstick Lip Balm, I'm not sure. I have Luminous Coral and varnished rosewood. I think I'm gonna get rid of these because they, yeah, they're kind of similar to those Revlon ones, but I like the Revlon a little bit better. And then like this varnished rosewood, it's pretty similar to that Revlon one. And I like the Revlon one better. So I'm gonna get rid of that one. Actually, I'm kind of unsure about Varnished Rosewood. It looks a little different than that one, so I'm gonna put Varnished Rosewood in the maybes. Then I have another NYX Filler Instinct in Beach Casual. It's just a light nude. It's pretty, but not my favorite formula, and I have so many, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Then I have two of these uh, Fenty, what were these called? The Super Shiny Slip Shine Lipstick. They had a really long name. Two of them, I have Makeout Break. This one has always been my favorite. Oh, that color is just perfection. I'm gonna keep that one. And then I also have Retro Rose. Um, I don't, I'm not, I don't feel attached to that one. I'm gonna let that one go, okay. Bin number two, empty. You guys should feel how sticky my arm is. All right, more glosses. Have you ever seen so much lip gloss? Okay, obvious keep is this. So this is a brand new City Lips, the clear one that I was talking about earlier. I have a new one of those. I love those, so I'm gonna keep that. Um, I'm gonna get rid of this Grande Lips Hydrating Lip Plumper. I've had this for a long time. I didn't really notice a whole lot of anything with this. Um, and I like the effect of the City Lips a lot more. So I'm gonna get rid of that. Okay, then I have tons of clear lip glosses. I do not know why. <laughs> I do know why because I love clear lip gloss, but I just don't need this many. So I have two from Glossier. I, let's see, I have the shimmery white or light one, or no, not white, you know what I mean, the shimmery clear one in holographic. So this is clear with like rainbow kind of glitter in it. I never use something like that. So I'm gonna get rid of that. And then I also have the original clear gloss. I also never use, so I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna keep this but I would not repurchase it, the Dior Lip Maximizer Lip Serum. I bought this, you guys, this is not, it's not a bad product, but it's expensive and I just don't see enough of a benefit to tell you it's worth it. It's just like this clear serum. It feels kind of weird. It feels kind of velvety on your lips and it's supposed to like plump your lips, help with lip lines and all of that. 
moisture. It's okay. I'm going to keep it and use it up, but it's really expensive for what it is in my opinion. Okay, then I have two more Fenty gloss bombs. I have Diamond Milk, which is the clear one with sparkle. I'm definitely going to declutter that. Then I have the original gloss bomb in glass slipper. I'm going to keep this. I like this formula and this is not a super old gloss so that one I'm going to keep. Um, then I have this mini Too Faced Lip Injection Maximum Plump. I bought this out of curiosity because I always hear about it and I just kind of wanted to see what it was all about. It's fine but I don't love it so I'm gonna get rid of it. Here's one I actually think does something. I don't know how to explain it but it's the buxom plump shot so this is just like a clear lip serum and i actually do think this plumps your lips i mean it it's nothing extreme but i actually do see a difference when i use this one so i'm gonna keep that then i have dibs the clear gloss in just the clear shade this one has a little bit of shimmer in it but it's not like iridescent looking. It's just a little bit of shimmer in a clear gloss and I like the formula so I'm going to keep that one. Then I have a City Lips in Nude York. So this is one of the City Lips but just with color. It's really pretty. I need to use this one more. I always reach for the clear one but this one is really pretty just to pair with anything. I'm going to keep that one. I have my one and only Pat McGrath lip gloss. This I'm going to keep. This is, what is this? Lust Gloss in Love Potion. So this is like a light milky pink with some shimmer in it. Really like that one. So that I'm going to keep. And then MAC Cream Sheen Glass in Boy Bait. Okay, this isn't my favorite formula, but I love the color of Boy Bait. I have to keep Boy Bait, I think. Okay, another bin done. All right, you guys, so these are going to be a lot of kind of a mix again, but a lot of my liquid lipsticks are in this area, which I never use. So I'm going to be, try to be very ruthless here. What should we start with? Okay, the first one that's going to go is this. This is Anastasia Liquid Lip in Pure Hollywood. This is actually a beautiful color. Do you remember when this was like the liquid lipstick on YouTube at one time? That's it there. I'm not going to keep it. I never wear it. It's very, very old. The color is pretty, but I am going to get rid of it. Um... I have this baby rare beauty liquid lip. Is that what these are called? Matte lip cream in the shade Inspire. I don't wear this often, but when I want a specific red kind of look on my lips and not a gloss, this is what I will go for. So that's a little baby, but I want to keep it. And then I have the rare beauty lip cream in Brave. Um, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna say no. I just, that's kind of orangey too. Yeah, it's just not, not my thing. Okay, then I have Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color in Seduction. Ooh, that color is really good. But am I gonna pull this out and wear it? Is the thing? Probably not. NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in London. Another like cult favorite, I feel like. I'm gonna say maybe on that. I don't I like that color, but I just don't know. Then I have this liquid cat suit from Wet and Wild in Send Nudes. Pretty, but I'm not gonna use it. So that's gonna go. The Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in Chai Genius. I think, okay, I know why I bought this. The reason I bought this is because they did a um, coffee collection and I got this, but am I gonna wear that? That's like straight up brown. I'm not gonna wear that. Okay, then I have these, again, from the Gilmore Girls 
Ulta collab. Super cute, but just not great. I mean, they're just not great, you guys. Those are gonna go. Ooh. Koki, what is this? Matte lipstick in the shade High Tea. I don't think I'm gonna wear it. Bite, oh, bite. Power Move Creamy Matte Lip Crayon in Leche. Ooh. Okay, now that's one I can get on board with, sadly. Bite. I think you can still get their stuff, but probably for not much longer. Physicians Formula Rose Kiss All Day in Pillow Talk. Clearly they were going for Charlotte Tilbury here. That's very pretty. It's very, very close to Charlotte Tilbury, actually. I don't think I'm going to use it, though. Then I have Nude Sticks Gel Color Lip and Cheek Balm. Ooh, so this is supposed to be for your lips and your cheeks. It's the shade Posh. Oops. I'm going to say no. And then I have two of the ColourPop Lippy Sticks. I have the shade Cookie just there, kind of a peachy nude. And then I have this brick. Pretty colors, but I'm not gonna use them. I am gonna pass on this NYX. This is Milky Gloss in the shade Cookies and Milk, mainly because of the color. I'm gonna have to stop swatching everything because we're gonna be here forever. This almost has like a grayish look to it. I don't love, so that I'm just gonna go. This Well People Lip Gloss in the shade Nudist. This I think I like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not a fan of that color. Ooh, that one smells kind of weird too. That one's gonna go. Then this KKW Classic Kim Lip Crayon. I think this came in like a holiday set of hers at one point. Ooh, that's pretty though. That's kind of pretty. I kind of want to keep that. Clinique Black Honey. I'm going to keep. That's a classic. Nude Sticks. This is another gel color lip and cheek balm and send nudes. This was the collab they did with Alana Davidson. Which is, oh gosh, that color is so good. I'm gonna keep that one. Morphe lip gloss in Flower Child. Gosh, that's a really pretty gloss. I don't think I'm gonna use that. Oh my gosh, this one is painful. Okay, do you remember when this was everything? The Sugar Sugar Enamored Hydrating Lip Gloss. Oh, this is the stick version. So they did the lip glosses and then they did these lip sticks. Oh gosh, sugar, sugar was so good too. I gotta keep that. I need to get that out and use it. The Hourglass Sublime Lip Gloss in the shade Unreal. Some of these, you guys, I have not seen in so long. Oh, look at that. Color. This is why this needs to happen because all of these pretty lip products are just hidden away and I don't even know that they're there. Okay, this is disgusting. See how it's all broken apart? That's gonna go. Um, ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip. Ooh, this was the Kathleen Lights in Moonchild. This is pretty, but I cannot stand these paintbrush applicators with lip glosses. They always get messed up. That's really old. Anyway, this is pretty, but this is way, way, way old too. The Keep It Full from Milani in Luminoso. I see, I think this is old. Yeah, it smells kind of weird too. Okay, that's good though. If you like, um, like a glossier, lip formula you like a little bit of plumping but not a ton you'd probably like these from milani and then the mineralist lip balm in serenity from bare minerals i like this formula but i have another one that is hiding somewhere in i think it's ingenuity and i like that color better than this so i'm going to get rid of that one and keep 
the other one. And I think that might be it for lip gloss. Thank the Lord. Okay, no, there's a few more. There's a few more in my drawer right here. Um, okay, what is this? Another Dior Maximizer in, I think this is beige which I love, so that is going to stay. Yeah, this is the other Bare Minerals in Ingenuity. I like this one more than that lighter pink. Oh yeah, so that one is gonna stay. And then this Wander Beauty Lip Retreat Oil in Skinny Dip. I also like, mm, I'm gonna put that in the maybes, I don't know. All right, I had to pause for a break. My camera died, but we're gonna keep going. I do have a few more glosses, believe it or not. This should be the very last of the lip glosses. I'm not sure how many I'm gonna get rid of here. I have a Tom Ford lip gloss in the shade Impulse. I really need to I need to use a lot of these more, but I really need to use this. I got this, I think, from the cosmetics company store a long time ago, but the color is really pretty, so I'm going to keep that. Then I have Buxom White Russian. Okay, I'm really struggling with this because I don't really use this anymore. No, I feel like I can let that go. Okay, then I have this Huda Beauty... Silk Balm in the Rose Quartz color. This case, In fact, this is kind of similar to White Russian. This is newer too, so I'm gonna keep this one instead. This one came out um, with the Rose Quartz palette from Huda. So I'm gonna keep that. I will also keep the Lawless, forget the filler in Daisy Pink. This is a really thick, pretty poppy pink gloss. I love that one. Let's keep. Then I have Persona in Toffee. I don't use this shade as much as I use Honey, but it's still a really pretty color for fall. So I'm going to keep that one. I have this Lip Power from Armani. This is, I guess, kind of a lipstick. It's like a really light pinky beige lipstick. I'm gonna keep that one. Okay, I have six of these Maybelline lifter glosses. I've got to get rid of some of these. I do not need them all. This one is Petal. So this is a like a almost like a magenta e-pink. I feel like I'm not gonna use that color. I'm gonna get rid of that one. I'm gonna keep Ice. This one is a very similar on your lips to the Dior 001 Lip Maximizer that I love, but I do like this one as well. So I'm gonna keep that one. I'm also going to keep Topaz. So this one is actually very similar to Fenty Glow. It's a really pretty, it has that same little bit of golden shimmer in there. So I'm going to keep that one. Um, okay, then I have Stone. This one is pretty. It's just a nude though. I mean, I have so many that look very similar to that. So I think I'm going to declutter that one. And then I have Silk and Reef. Reef is, I think, a little more of a peachy pink. Yeah, it's pretty. I'm going to compare it to Silk. I think I like Silk more. Yeah, I like Silk just a little bit more. It's a little bit deeper, a little bit rosier. I'm going to keep Silk and Declutter Reef. And that should be it for glosses. It's time for lip liners. Oh my gosh, this really needs to be done too, but I love lip liner also. I have way too many. I have to pare these down. I do have to. Crap. 
group number one. So we have, I think these are all of my Charlotte Tilburys. I'm probably not going to get many of these because I just love them. So I have Super Size Me, which is like kind of a rosy red. I have Bond Girl, which is very similar. Hot Gossip, which is a little more brown. Pillow Talk, obviously. Iconic Nude. This is Pillow Talk Medium. Love Trap, this is another really good one. And then I have another Pillow Talk. So there's all of those there. I These are like my favorite liners one of them. So the Charlotte Tilbury's are all going to stay. Then I have the Dibs lip liner. I forget what this is called, but I think, so you get a lip liner on one side and then you get more of like a contour color on the other side. So you like kind of line your lips with this and fill them in with this. It's really interesting, really different, but I do like this. So that is... The color you fill in with and then you get more of like a contour shade i like that one so that is a keep i also have one of the refi lip liners in the shade taupe this is really new to me but i love the color i'm not sure how i feel about the other end you like use this stuff to kind of lock in the lip liner it's supposed to make it last longer I don't know about that, but I do like the formula on these. So I'm gonna keep that. Then I have some lip liners from NYX. So I have the shade Natural, which I like. Kinda need to see these swatched to decide. Then I have Beige, which I also like. Mm, I have Soft Brown. And I think this is peekaboo, yeah, peekaboo neutral, which is really good. I mean, those are all good. I actually really like the NYX formula. So I think I have more of the NYX ones. Those are just a few of them. But I do like those colors. So those are going to be keeps. I have two from Pat McGrath. Actually, I have three. I don't know where my other one is. This is Done Undone. It's a really good pinky nude. And then Contour, which I also love. It's really, really cool toned, like a brown. I love both of those. Then I have some Makeup Forever. This is Anywhere Caffeine. Keep. These are good. They're kind of similar to like MAC lip liners. This is Endless Cacao. This I wouldn't use all over my lips, but you can use this if you're trying to like, I don't know, contour your lips, or you can use this for a lip liner because these lips or these artist pencils are actually for your eyes and your lips. Um, but I don't know, do I need that one? Probably not. Let's just go ahead and say I'll declutter that one. <laughs> Oh, here's the other Makeup Forever in Wherever Walnut. This is a definite keep. Love that one. Here we have a few more from NYX. So this is one of the retractable lip liners. This one is in Nude. I'm going to declutter that one because the other retractable one... I like a little bit more. And this one is in the shade Natural. It's a little bit lighter, a little more nude. I'm gonna keep that one. This is my favorite NYX lip liner. I love the Line Loud in Global Citizen. Love that one, so that one is a keep. Then I have Nude Truffle. So that's Nude Truffle. I don't think I love that color. Um, and then I have another natural lip pencil. I don't need two. I'm going to declutter that one. 
Another all-time favorite is this one in All Natural from Milani. This matches my natural lip color perfectly. You can see how much I love that one. It's so tiny. And then I have that same formula in Nude. I'm going to get rid of this one. This one's a little, a lot more pink. I like All Natural better, so I'm going to get rid of that one. And then I have one of the retractable pencils in Most Natural from Milani. That one's almost identical to um, Natural from NYX. I really don't need both. I'll go ahead and get rid of this Milani one. Then I have ColourPop BFF, which has always been a favorite. I still love that one, so that will stay. And my other Pat McGrath lip liner in Structure, which I love. It's a little bit deeper than Done Undone. Still that kind of pinky nude. Okay, then I have three from Marc Jacobs. You can't get these anymore. I just don't know if I want to keep these or not. So I have O Coco, which is there. I have, let's see, Cream and Sugar. And then, oh, I just remembered. Nudist is the other one I have, but it's like broken. The rest of it just came like falling out when I opened it. So yeah, that one's gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of these two. I have other similar ones and I don't really need those. Okay, I have two from Huda Beauty. These are the Lip Contour 2.0s. I have Honey Beige. Really like these. These are more of a like a silkier matte formula and then I have sandy beige I like these so I'm gonna keep both of those I do have two more of these ColourPop lippy pencils I think I'm gonna get rid of these I don't think I love these shades I have BFF number two it's kind of a reddish color and then Bumble that's more like a deeper pink almost like magenta color. I'm going to get rid of that one. I have two from Urban Decay. I have Rush, which is this one. I'm going to get rid of that. That's a bit like too pink for me. And then I have 1993, which is a good brown. That one I'm going to keep. Then I have quite a few from Sephora collection. Some of these I really like. Some of them, I, I mean, I like the formula. I don't love the color. So I have Creme de la Creme, which is this one. That's a really good, like, mid-toned nude. Then I have Nothing But Nude, which is here. It's also a pretty color. I have this little mini pencil. It's like an on-the-go Sephora collection pencil. I don't know, maybe I don't like that nothing but nude color. I like creme de la creme. Yeah, I don't know about that nothing but nude. I think I'm gonna get rid of this brown one on the end. I don't know, I don't love that color. I also have the nudist. That one is kind of a weird, almost like a purpley nude. I don't love that. I'm gonna declutter that one. And then I also have Dressed to the 90s. I kind of like that one. I don't know. I don't think I want that one, actually. I'm definitely going to keep uh, Creme de la Creme. I don't know. That nothing but nude looks kind of... I can't tell. I feel like that color looks kind of odd. No, I'm going to keep that one. Get rid of the other ones. Then I have Anastasia in Hazelnut. I like this one a lot. This is my only Anastasia lip liner, but I love that color. I'm gonna keep that. Then I have three from Bare Minerals. Um, let's see here. I think I have two of the same one. Oh, Borderline and Freestyle. Yeah, so I have two Freestyles. I don't think they even make these anymore. 
That one is borderline. This is not my favorite lip liner formula, so I'm gonna get rid of that. And then this is Freestyle. I like that color more, but I never use these Bare Minerals ones, so I'm gonna get rid of those. And then I have two from Morphe. I have Sweet Tea, which is there. It's kind of a warmer brown. And then I have Makeup Talk. I really like Makeup Talk for sure. Sweet Tea is not something I would wear like ever on an everyday basis, but I feel like I don't have that warmer brown. So I'm gonna keep that one. Next is the Persona lip liner in Rosewood. It's like that, it's kind of a mid-toned nude. These are really good, the formula is really creamy. I'm gonna keep that. Then I have one from Jason Wu in Dolled Up. That one's a little too pink for me. I'm gonna get rid of that one. I have a Flower Beauty Perfect Pout Lip Liner in the shade Taupe. They all start to run together after a while. I'm gonna put that in the Maybe. Okay, then I have some from KKW Beauty. These I love, but sadly, KKW Beauty does not exist anymore. So I have this lip liner in Love. It's a really good brown. I think that was from like the Mrs. West collection maybe. Okay, then I have Nude number one. I have Nude 0.5. Ooh, this one needs to be sharpened. That was, that's always been one of my favorites. It's lighter, but it's really pretty. And then, let's see. I have another one that's hiding in here. This is Nude 1.5, which I also love. Okay, I definitely want Nude 1.5. I want Nude 0 0.5. I feel like these two are very similar. I'm gonna keep Nude number two and declutter. I love one. I have Makeup by Mario in Dimitri. This is a really good lighter pinky nude. I want to keep it. Revlon in shade natural. I don't really love these from Revlon. They have like some shimmer in there. I don't know. I don't love this formula. I'm going to get rid of that one. And then I have this Makeup Forever Aqua Lip in 3C. It's really good. That one's more of like a rosy color. But it goes really well with my natural lip color. So I'm going to keep that. Then I have a Bobbi Brown lip liner in the shade Nude. That one's not my favorite. I'm going to declutter. I have one Patrick Ta lip liner in... She's Proud. That one I'm definitely going to keep. These have like the little angled tip on them. I'm going to keep that. I also have a Koki lip liner in Warm Nude. I like that one. I kind of forgot about that. I'm going to keep that one. And then I have some from LA Girl. These are really good too. I have the shade Flesh, which is there. That one's a little too light and a little bit orangey. I'm going to declutter. I have Sugar and Spice, which is there. I don't love that color either, actually. I'm going to declutter that one. also have the shade Bear, which is there. I also don't love that one. There's one that I like. I think it's Cafe. That one must be hiding somewhere. I'll keep that one, but I think I'm not crazy about those colors, so I'm gonna declutter those. Then I have this one from Clinique in Naturally. I think I'm gonna declutter that one. I have this one from L'Oreal in Mating Call. I don't really love that color either. Kind of a weird brown. I then have this Alexis Persico lip liner. It's the Jesse James Decker lip liner. Looks like that. I don't love that color. It's a little too pink for me. And then lastly, I have my MAC 
lip liners. I have Strip Down, which I'm going to keep. Then I have Oak. I actually like Strip Down more than Oak. I think I'm going to get rid of Oak. I have Whirl. This was my first MAC lip liner. I don't really use that color anymore though. And then I have Subculture. I think I'm just going to keep Strip Down, honestly. Okay, I think I might have a few more in my drawer. I have a few more right here. Okay, so here is Cafe that I was talking about from LA Girl. So that's it there. It is almost identical to strip down. I should probably only keep one, but I'm gonna keep both. And then I have this, this is kind of random for Maybelline. It's the Super Stay Ink Crayon in Trust Your Gut. It's kind of a larger crayon, but this is such a good color. You can use it for liner or you can fill in your lips with it. I got this recently and I really like it. So I'm gonna keep that. All right, so all I had in the maybes there was this Flower Beauty one. I'm gonna declutter. I feel like I'm not gonna use it. Okay, let me count these up and I will be right back. All right, you guys, it's taken me a minute to count this up. So I, believe it or not, had 74 lip liners. I am keeping 37 and I'm getting rid of 37. So I cut it exactly in half which I'm really happy about. So these are staying, all of these are going. I know I missed the numbers for the lip gloss. It's cause there's so many and they're everywhere. So I'll give you the, that number at the end, or maybe I'll just insert it in an overlay in that part of the video. We'll see, but 37 and 37 for lip liners. And finally for lipstick, I'm gonna be ruthless here also because I feel like most of the time I wear lip liner and a lip gloss of some kind or a lip balm. My lipstick wearing has been few and far between <laughs> lately. So I'm gonna be really picky here. Okay, we'll start with my MAC lipsticks. First, Lady Danger. Okay, I'm sure we all know what this looks like. It's like the classic really bright red. I think I'm gonna keep that one. I don't wear a bright red often, but I like that one when I do. I then have this one in the shade Cherish. Mm, it's kind of pretty, but I never wanna use that color, so I'm gonna declutter. Ooh, okay, this has always been a favorite. This is Modesty. It's kind of a mauve nude. I'm gonna keep. Modesty, then I have Honey Love. Oh, that's a good one. Okay, that one's gonna stay. I have Blankety. Okay, wait a second. Blankety is really close to Modesty. I'm gonna keep Blankety. Then I have Twig. Twig is gonna go. And oh, Cream in Your Coffee. This one I like for fall. Yeah, that one's gonna stay. Then I have these two. These were limited edition with Nick and Sam Chapman. They're makeup artists based in the UK. And let's see here. So I have the Sam color, which is not really a color I would wear. It's like a fuchsia. I love them, but I don't know. I feel like I won't wear that color and then the Nick Chapman color I like so that one I definitely want to keep I just don't know about this one I mean I don't even think I don't know that I can even pull off that color I don't know I kind of want to keep it and try it maybe at some point I'm gonna say keep for now time for Charlotte Tilbury you know probably not gonna get rid of many here if any but I'll just kind of go through them quickly. So I have three of the hot lips, two. I have Dance Floor Princess, which is a really pretty pink. I have JK Magic. This has always been my absolute favorite. It's like a peachy nude. 
And then I have, I think this is Glowing Gin, yeah. This one's the deepest one, but oh my gosh, these are so good. They're so creamy. Packaging is beautiful. Those are not going anywhere. Then I have a bunch of either Matte Revolution or the Kissing Formula. They're both in this packaging. Okay, this is very Victoria. This is a matte lipstick. Her mattes I don't mind because they're not like an uncomfortable, weird matte for me. So I'm going to keep very Victoria. What is this? Nude Kate. So that one I don't love on its own, but it's pretty like in the center of your lips mixed with something. Then we have classic Pillow Talk, Kim KW. Kind of similar to Nude Kate, just a little more pinky. Then I have Pillow Talk number two. I don't really wear that this time of year, but I would wear it like in the fall time. Then I have Yes Honey. That's a really pretty peachy nude. I have Supermodel. Okay, this one is also good. I promise after this we're going to get rid of some, but Supermodel is staying. What is this? Bitch Perfect is staying. Mm. And this was one of her fancier packaging with these little crystals on it in Nude Romance. So there's all my Charlotte Tilbury. All are gonna stay. All right, you guys. We're almost done. My camera keeps dying though, so I'm gonna have to speed through these last ones quickly, and then we'll be done. So first I have Natasha Denona in Beatrice. I like this formula, but I every time I wear this color, I don't love it. It's just, I don't know if it's because it's too, it looks different in a swatch, I feel like. I just don't love this lipstick. I don't know why, I just don't. So that's gonna go. I am going to declutter this. You can't even buy these anymore from Bare Minerals. They're, I think they were called the Radiant Lipsticks or something. I've had that for a very long time, but I never use it. Then I have a NARS lipstick in Tonka. That one I like for the fall time. I'm going to keep that. I have two of the Bare Minerals Mineralist lipsticks. I have the shade Grace, which is a pink that I really like. And then I have this one, which is Memory. A little more of a berry tone. I like both of these though. So I'm gonna keep. I am gonna declutter this from Buxom. This is super old. This is one of the bold gel lipsticks in this bright coral. I never use that. And then I have Let's see, five from Tom Ford. First is an obvious keep. This is my all-time favorite. It's Blush Nude. It's kind of hard to get your hands on. It's almost always out of stock, but I love that one. And I have this one. I think this is from one of the Soleil lines, maybe? It's the Ultra Shine Lip Color in Lamont. That is also very pretty. I'm gonna keep that one. I have Blush Honey. I'm gonna keep that one. That one's a bit more matte. Yeah, it's a satin matte formula. The color is nice. Then I have, why do you say that? La Nudite, La Nudite. So funny. All of these look so similar. I'm gonna keep that one. And then this mini I got in a, I think it was in an order one time, but it's called Scarlet Rouge and it's a really pretty red. Ooh, yeah. I love that. So that one is going to stay. It's just a cute little mini. One of my favorite lipsticks of all time is this one. You cannot buy these anymore. They were from L'Oreal and it's the Celebrity Collection. And this was the J.Lo one. And this, for years, you guys, was like my absolute favorite lip color. It's just a really kind of sheer pinky nude, but I love it. 
It is old, but I don't care. I'm keeping them. I actually have two of them. That's how much I love them. I have this one from Marc Jacobs. I never wear it. Can't even get Marc Jacobs anymore, so I'm gonna declutter that. I'm also gonna declutter this from Milk. This is in the shade Skills. Nothing spectacular. I don't think they make these anymore either. I'm gonna declutter that. Then I have the Alexis Persico Jesse James Decker lipstick. I don't love the lip liner, but I kind of like the lipstick in this. So I'm gonna keep that. I have one of the Milani, what were these called? Are they like matte fetish lipsticks or something? The name's not on the bottom. This one is in Pleasure. I don't always go for a matte, but I like these actually from Milani. So I'm gonna keep that. I have a Revlon lipstick in Bear It All. <sighs> Do I need it? Yeah, I like that one. I have Sephora collection in, this was the Zodiac collection. This is the Virgo one, because I am a Virgo. That one I like. I wanna keep that. I have two from Lawless. I have Platinum, just there. I don't like that on its own, but I usually wear it on top of something else. And then I have Wedding Day. Yeah, I'm gonna keep those. I have a L'Oreal Age Perfect in Subtle Primrose. I don't wear this often, but something about this color, every time I do wear it, I just really like it. It's unique, I don't have anything else like that. So I think I'm gonna hang on to that. I have two from Flower Beauty. I have, let's see, I don't even see, oh yeah. This is the shade Buttercup, which is a pretty pink. And then, what is this? This one is Peony. Mm. This is so hard. I never use these. I don't feel like I will. I'm gonna declutter. And then I have a Buxom lipstick in Supermodel. I like that one. Keep that. This is it. I have a Tarte Rainforest of the Sea in Surf's Up. This is like a kind of a burgundy. I don't love that one anymore, so I'll get rid of that one. I have four from Becca. I have Ember, which is a red, kind of a, not really a cherry red, which is what I usually like when I wear a red, so I'm gonna declutter that. Tawny, I'm running out of room. Tawny is there, I don't love that one. Then I have Sugar, gosh, sugar is pretty, but I don't know about that one. And then I have, what is this last one? Dune, I like sugar and dune. I think I might keep those two. I have an Ilia lipstick in Amber Light. I don't love this formula for some reason. I'm gonna get rid of that. Then last, I have four from KKW. I'm gonna try to get rid of these. Maybe just keep one. I have new number five. That's a little dark. I have nude 2.5. That's a little bit orangey. I have nude number one. Ooh, that's pretty. I think I'll probably keep nude number one. And then nude three. I kind of like nude three too. Okay, I'm gonna keep nude one and nude three. Declutter nude 2.5 and nude five. And that is it, you guys. Let me count these up and then we will wrap up this series. All right, you guys, I'm keeping all of these. So for lipstick, I had 58 total. I'm keeping 37, I'm decluttering 21. So not quite half of them gone, but they all fit in here. So that's a win for me.
And then I went and counted the lip glosses. Lip gloss, I had 78. I am keeping 35 and I'm decluttering 43. So I got down more than half of my lip glosses. And the balms, I didn't even count. I just, there weren't many balms. I think I kept like six or seven. I had 10 total or something. But that is it, you guys. I finally finished this declutter series. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will be sharing my final makeup collection with you in the next day or so. So I hope you are excited. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Remember, simply be you. Bye.